Hey everyone, it's Mike with Presentation Plus Ups. In this episode, I'm gonna walk you through what I think might be the coolest feature available in PowerPoint today, and that's Microsoft Cameo. Yes, that's right. The ability to place yourself inside your PowerPoint deck and share it in Microsoft Teams. I can't wait to show you how it works, so let's get started. Welcome to Presentation Plus Ups. Right now, folks, I am sharing and walking you through Microsoft's PowerPoint Cameo. It's a super cool feature on how you can become a living, breathing piece of your presentation. I mean, if you wanna be in a chart, you wanna walk through a legend, you want to uh, you know, be something someone's staring at on a wall, and then you just wanna go back to being all on camera, you can do that with Microsoft Cameo. So let me walk you through the ins and outs of this, but also how you can use this in a live Microsoft Teams meeting. It is not difficult, but there's some unique steps. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that right now. We are literally right now in Microsoft. You can see I'm in the working view of PowerPoint right here. So let me just show you how this feature works. So let me insert a new slide. And what you wanna do is under the insert menu, you want to go to Cameo. There you go. You can place in a live view of your camera. You can size it. Let's put a stroke on this thing. Let's give it kind of a sketched vibe. Yeah, you can go over here. You can select different cameras. I happen to have a few different cameras set up. This is not my favorite camera, but it's one I can use. So I will say this, if you are running something like OBS Studio, which is one of my favorite features, this doesn't work too well with it because that's technically both Cameo and OBS are drawing on your camera. So I would recommend if you're looking to use this, shut, shut it down, baby. Shut down the OBS studio. And then the cool thing is if you set your transition to morph, you'll see that you shape shift. I mean, you literally are like the bouncing ball on those old 1940s songs. You're moving around right there. So it's really as easy as pie. Again, all you have to do is go to insert cameo and then format yourself how you want to format it, okay? What we're gonna focus on is how you can use this in Microsoft Teams. So when you are doing a live meeting, you can screen share yourself inside your PowerPoint while you're doing it using Microsoft Teams. So let me show you how to do that. All right, everyone. So right now we are about ready to start a cameo 101 Microsoft Teams meeting here. So I've got my camera set up. Now I'm gonna do something even as a bonus for you. I'm going to go to effects and avatars. Instead of using my live camera feed, I'm gonna use my Microsoft avatar. So I'm gonna turn off my camera, enable my avatars. Now I've set up some fun avatars in here. Um, hi there, how's it going? Cool. So I'm gonna use this guy right here and let's join this meeting. So the first thing you want to do is, um, well, first thing I'm gonna do is actually just close this Cameo. Okay, so it's being saved. I'm gonna close it because what you're going to do on your screen share when you're ready to share is I do not want you to share your screen. Instead, you're going to go down to PowerPoint Live. And as long as you've uploaded that version up here, you can access it here. If you don't see it there, you could browse your computer or browse OneDrive, but locate the file where you've inserted your Cameo assets. Since I've already done that, I'm gonna open this one right here. Okay, so we are here in PowerPoint Live and you might wonder, why are we using PowerPoint Live versus just a traditional screen share? And the reason for that is when you use PowerPoint Live in conjunction with Cameo, Microsoft Teams will keep your frame rate elevated so your video feed is nice and smooth. So technically, I'm assuming they're at least upping your frames per second to 24 frames per second, which is the, you know, it's the minimum for the, the film look and feel. If you just try to share your Microsoft Cameo using traditional screen share, your frame rate goes down to something like one, two, three, four frames per second. So you do not get a nice smooth video. And obviously that's a problem because you are making a cameo in your PowerPoint. And we're live. Hi everyone, how's it going? So you can see me here on my deck. And the cool thing with PowerPoint Live is that 
really you only technically need one screen okay i think you could use two screens but the fact is right now everything that you're seeing here the audience only sees what's in your slide deck okay so as you move around you're going to get the benefits whether you're using your avatar or your camera you are using all those great features of cameo and animating within your slide deck you're adjusting you're shape shifting really the opportunities here are endless in terms of what you can do to engage your audience, be part of your presentation. Literally broken the fourth wall, you are in your screen share and you're doing cool stuff. I'm gonna show you a couple other things while we're here though, that we have this layout section and you can go ahead and disable Cameo if you wanna go to just content only and just have your traditional content, just slides, you'll notice your Cameo is not showing up. But if you wanna go back to layout and enable Cameo, go ahead and show back up again in your content. So you've got a couple of options. And there's also the traditional layout, which is more where you are in front of your content. What I found though, as you can see, is that it's it's not the cleanest look. You've got some pretty rough edges around you. So for my money, I would say plan to build yourself into your presentation. Use Microsoft Cameo. So what are the downsides though? The downsides to me of this are that when you use PowerPoint Live, you are losing custom font control. What I found in this is that if you are using more elaborate fonts that don't closely approximate with Arial, it'll default to Calibri, which is, you know, something just to think about. So if you really need your custom fonts, PowerPoint Live won't work for you. But if you can get away with not using custom fonts, then I think you're really going to like what you get here with PowerPoint Live in conjunction with Cameo. Super cool feature. Okay, so that's a look here at PowerPoint Cameo. Hopefully you enjoyed this little tutorial while I'm zooming around on my deck here. Um, I can't wait to use it. I have tested it with some of my colleagues and I will attest as long as you use the PowerPoint Live. It's just another way to personalize your presentation, help you plus things up, help you stand out, and also just have a little fun. I mean, we're trying to connect with people in the virtual world. Using PowerPoint Cameo is a great way to do it. Signing off for today, that's your week's presentation plus up. Stay tuned for more. And as always, I'd love if you'd like, subscribe, smash that notifications button. Stay tuned for more. Thanks so much and make it a great week.